Team Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.5, number 17. And here I have this quadratic equation, and I want to solve it. So there's always the three methods to solve a quadratic equation. Right? You could factor, if it's possible. You could use the quadratic formula. Or you could complete the square. And I'm just going to write CTS for complete the square. And these last two methods, these always work. Right, they will always get you to an answer. They might take a little longer, but they'll always work. And factoring doesn't always work. That's the downside to factoring. It's personally my favorite method, but if I can't factor, then I'll go to the quadratic formula. And if I'm directed to, I'll complete the square. But if, if I'm being honest, like completing the square is probably my least favorite method. Or it's not even probable, probably. It is my least favorite method. All right, so we take a look at this one, right? I've got 7x squared plus 3x equaling 0. Now, I'm going to opt to factor this. And again, keep in mind, I could have easily just used the quadratic formula. But the thing I notice is that I've got a GCF. You see there's an x squared and an x here. So let's go ahead and factor out the x to get x times 7x plus 3 equaling 0. And then I have two terms that multiply to 0, right? I have an x and I have a 7x plus 3. So from the 0 product property, either x is 0 or 7x plus 3 is 0. And when I solve this equation, I'm going to get x equaling negative 3 sevenths, and that's where I get my two answers. All right, thanks so much. Bye.